Good day there everyone, welcome back to Christopher's Knowledge Discovery. Today we want to talk uh, statistics, uh, specifically from the US Department of Justice. And the reason for this is, uh, as we've all seen, the protest riots that have been going on in several states in America uh, due to the unjustified death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. We we want to bring you some some statistics to clarify a few things because I think there has been a lot of misinformation from the media for years regarding uh, uh, police statistics, crime statistics, and um, they are painting a narrative where they want people to hate each other, and instead of people waking up and taking responsibilities for their behavior. So, and I'll show you what I mean by that. So if what we see in front of us is a, a report from 2018, and I will leave a link to this so you can look at it yourself. And uh, so what we wanna do, we, we wanna look at uh, some stats uh, in here. It is quite a long report, so I won't go for it all. But firstly, what we'll do is, as the issue is a police issue in in the States right now, we want to have a look at some police statistics regarding the uh, number of people shot to death by the police in the United States from 2007 to 20 by race, as that's the topic that's going on at the minute. So we go to the first bar here, which re represents white Americans. We can see there... 2017, 200, um, sorry, excuse me, 457 uh, shot dead by police, 2018, 399, 2019, 370, 2020, 42. And we move over to the next column, Black Americans, 2017, 223, 2018, 209, 2019, 235, and this year, 2020, 31. And then it goes on Hispanics, but I, I think we, we both know we're interested in the first two columns. We can see in 2017, there was 457 white Americans shot to death by police. Now that's over 200 and... Well, no, that's not over. That's 234 more uh, people shot to death... Well, no, white Americans shot to death by the police than black Americans. We didn't hear an outcry about that. The next year, 2018, 399 compared to 209 shot to death by the police with black Americans. Last year, 235 black Americans were shot and white Americans was 370. So we can't, we see a substantial difference and then this year, 31, between uh, the number of white Americans that get shot and black Americans, but we never hear about it in the news at all. Uh, you, you have to adjust, obviously, for Population size in in this uh, in this uh, uh, graph here, and um, what you can do is get uh, ra rates as well rates of uh, committing crime, and what you can go into is uh, interaction with police. So how many times do Black Americans interact with police and get shot, and how many times do White Americans interact with police and get shot? So you can find a disparity there. Maybe that will just uh, show something. But that's the the general uh, count of people shot to death by police between uh, white Americans and black Americans. Regarding other crime, uh, we'll, we'll go to, this is a 37 page report, so we won't go through it all. We'll just have a look at some important boxes that I've seen which are relevant and uh, you can go through it and then maybe see if I've left out something that's really important. Uh, we'll go to box number 14. So 
because we want to look at have a look at the the violent crimes by victim offender race and, and ethnicity so, so this we can see who's committing crimes against whom at what number or what percentage so this is your victim column the first one here by ethnicity and race and then you've got your uh, I mean you guys know what graphs look like so I don't wanna you know be uh, uh. so let's look at the first one mm. so we got white Americans they have three over three million so three let's say three point five nearly let's say three point six nearly uh, K, uh violent incidents now sixty two percent 62.1%, yeah, I think we should be precise here, uh, of these are committed by other white Americans upon white Americans. So that figure, 62.1%, comes to 2.2 and some million. So that's the majority of uh, the incidents that happen to white Americans are perpetrated by other white Americans. We move to the next column, uh, black Americans account for 15.3 percent. Now this is 15.3 percent of 3.5. Now this is where obviously uh, it goes into other ethnicities, other races, and that number 15.3 percent is 547,948. So black Americans account for that amount of uh, of these incidents against whites. So, yeah, and then Hispanics, 10.2, which uh, comes up to 355,299, if my notes are correct. And um, Asians... So on and so on. When we go to black Americans in the next column, they've got 563,000 violent incidents, and white Americans account for 10.6 of them. 10.6 comes to 59,778. So 59,000 here. 547,948 here. That's uh, nearly a 10 times difference of uh, black Americans attacking white Americans. So what we see there is a, is a big, big gap. And then next column, 70.3% is black Americans on black Americans so they account for for the most uh, uh, of the number of violent incidents uh, Hispanics 734 see now here we white Americans are 28.2 percent uh, uh, responsible for it and that figure comes to 207,104 oh, this this figure here I need to calculate that I've just realized that that figure I haven't got that figure but so that be 70% out of that well which is close uh, be over 400,000 wouldn't it and um, so this, so white Americans account for a lot more against Hispanics than they do against Black Americans, and not only that, they uh, have a quite a big number as well against Asians. But the the number of incidents are not that big, so it might not be the, that big of a number. But mostly. Uh, what the races and ethnicities show is that like Hispanics are responsible for 45 percent on Hispanics, Black Americans 70, White Americans 62, 
so it's it's usually uh the the owners necessities majority are majorly involved in uh in incidents violent incidents against themselves so to speak but what does what this does show when we uh go to uh, another table and we look at uh total population you have to remember if we go here so you see the white americans here 171 million of the population 62 percent black americans here 33 million 12 percent 12 percent sorry and so on and so on so you have to do the, the breakdown and of the of the uh, percentage population there and then you get uh, a rate of rate of crime and um what the US Department of Justice said uh black Americans are eight percent or not rather eight times more uh, uh involved in committing crime than what white Americans are. So if they're eight times more involved in committing crime, that means they've got eight times more possibilities of being interacting with police. If we go back to this graph here, shot dead by police. So they they might be actually underrepresented in, in, in police shootings because they're eight times more represented in uh, committing crime. So the the so-called uh, narrative of persecution uh, extreme racism uh, when you go by statistics they don't they don't follow as such what they do show is that there is a a, a problem of crime uh, of uh, black Americans against white Americans Ten times more because as I, the number was black Americans on white Americans five hundred and forty seven thousand and white Americans on black Americans fifty nine thousand so for two thousand and eighteen there you have it again, you can look at this yourself and find something else and then say that well, Christopher, you missed this part. I'm happy to look at it, but uh, I thought. This is something that everyone needs to do and look at and not just listen to the media that just want to fuel the flames of division, racism. They just keep the, the narrative going so we're constantly fighting each other. So if we, when you know the truth, you can you can change or, or you can't. It's up to you. But that's what we need. We need the truth. So... Thank you for watching. This is Christopher's Knowledge Discovery and come back next time. Bye.